Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be an update to my project Polis. I'm really excited because it has been a while since I have filmed my last update. To be honest, I don't even remember what the number of this update is. I only film updates to this project when I have an empty and my last update was back in September. So it has been almost five months since then. I wrote in a new nail polish into this project 10 and also in August I had an update when I rolled in two new nail polishes. Then I have had one nail polish in this project that was a never-ending nail polish and also I was working on one nail polish in my Throwback 30 project pan so hopefully that explains a little bit why it has been such a long time. I have some nail polishes in this project that I thought I would finish up during fall, no problem, but I didn't. But I'm really happy to let you know that I do have two empties to share with you today. Also, this is going to be a really special update because it's going to be the last update when I'm rolling in new nail polishes. So this has been a rolling project with four nail polishes at once in this project and I have been doing this since May 2018. So we are getting closer to two year mark. I'm starting to be really happy with where my nail polish collection is at right now. I'm really happy with the size of it and I'm happy with the selection of it. And honestly, I don't have that many nail polishes that I want to pan anymore. Couple I'm rolling in to this project today. And then there's maybe some that I might roll into some collab project later on. Let's go through my progress and let's start with the two empties. I was finally able to finish this Essence Glitter in the Air Nail Polish in the shade Too Glam to Give a Damn. So this is a metallic, kind of like pinky, bronzy nail polish and this nail polish has been in this project since last May. So this was the never-ending nail polish I was talking about. With this nail polish only one coat is enough, when with most of my nail polishes I need to do two coats and then I have some nail polishes I need to do even three coats. But because I only had to apply one coat, of course I didn't use as much nail polish when I was doing my manicure. So that's why it took forever for me to finish this. I'm so happy it's done. I was getting quite sick of it. Not the color. The color I like. It's very wearable neutral color. But I was starting to get sick of the metallic finish, especially since this one started to be really thick and it took forever to try. And metallic nail polish, if you touch somewhere when it's not yet dry, it's going to look so horrible. It's really unforgiving then. And overall I'm not super into metallic nail polishes. I like shimmer nail polishes once in a while, but pure metallic finish is maybe not for me. So I'm really happy that I was finally able to use up this nail polish. Another nail polish I was finally able to finish is this Essence the Gel nail polish in the set on air and this is a beautiful gold glitter nail polish. I absolutely love this. There's just a little bit left in the bottom, however it's so thick that even if I turn the bottle upside down I cannot get anything to my brush or to the brush of the nail polish. I really did love this nail polish. Actually this one was in this project back in fall 2018 and winter 2019 but I rolled it out because I didn't want to finish it during my Nova year and then I rolled it back into this project last August. I do love this nail polish so much that I'm thinking of repurchasing this. Essence does not have this the gel nail polishes available anymore, but they do have a new line replacing these. I believe they are called Shine and Go nail polishes or something like that. They do have the same color in that line and I think I'm going to buy it because for me this is my perfect gold clear nail polish because it's not too yellow and the glitter is really fine so it's not too chunky. 
And by the way, my favorite way to wear glitter nail polish is on the tips of my nails. I don't typically like to wear glitter nail polish all over my nails just because it can be really hard to take off. To be honest, most of the times I only wear it on the tip of my ring finger. Next, let's talk about the nail polishes I have in this project, but are not empty yet. So this is another nail polish I rolled into this project in August and it is the Essence the gel nail polish in the set olive hue so it is an olive green and I thought it would be no problem for me to finish this during fall but it's not gone yet. I have made decent progress and to be honest there is not much left but I don't know I feel I don't do my nails as often anymore as I used to. There was a time when I did my nails in every another day but I don't really do that anymore. Nowadays I most of the times do my nails twice a week. So that's maybe another reason why I'm not making as good progress as I used to with my nail polishes anymore. I just don't paint my nails as often. But Another thing is that I don't think this olive green color is the most flattering on me and not only nail polish, I also think in clothing. Right now I'm not feeling this kind of color but I'm sure I can finish this during springtime because there is not much left. But I thought it would be a little bit easier. Then this nail polish is the one I rolled into this project in September. It is another of these Essence the Gel nail polishes. It is in the shade Love Me Like You Do and it is like a mauve color. And that is all the progress I made with this nail polish, so not a lot of progress. I guess I have just been so focused on finishing the glitter in the air nail polish, the metallic one. But right now this is the nail polish I'm feeling the most and I'm actually wearing this today. I think it's a beautiful color for this time of year. And I think it will be no problem for me to use this one up during this springtime. Then, as I said, this is the last update where I will roll in new nail polishes to this project. So I will be rolling in two. The first one is actually something I have already gotten used out of and I don't think it will be an issue at all for me to finish this one. It is a nail polish from Mineral Fusion and I have used maybe about a third of the nail polish. And it is a mini, so it shouldn't be a problem for me to finish this. So this one came in a set and the shade name is Pink Crush. So this is like a sheer shimmer nail polish. And that is what the color looks like. I think if I wear this alone, it will just be a really natural type of sheen on my nails. And then I can also wear it on top of something else. It might look pretty on top of the nail polish I'm wearing today. And then the last nail polish I will roll into this project is a nail polish from Pacifica. This is the Pacifica 73 nail color and it is in the shade Immortal. And this shade is a really beautiful peachy nail polish. However, the reason I want to pan this nail polish is that I do not like the formula of it. And the reason to that is that it takes three coats to get an even application and even then sometimes it's maybe not completely even. So I don't like that. For me, I don't mind doing two coats, but I must get even application with three coats and unfortunately with this one it doesn't always happen, so I don't like that and that is why I want to finish this one up. I think this will be a beautiful color to spring and summertime and this one I think will take the longest for me to finish. I'm actually not sure if I want to keep doing this project over the two year mark, now that I think so. I'm sure that I can get these three done by 10, but I don't think I will be able to finish this one by the two year anniversary for this project. So if this is the only nail polish left 10 in May, I might just film my finale 10 and call off this project, but keep panning this during the summer because I'm sure this is a color I would easily finish up in summertime. So I think that's my plan. I'm going to film the finale 
in May. Hopefully I can get all of these three done by then. But yeah, I'm really really excited where my nail polish collection is right now and I don't know, it feels weird that this project is almost over, but at the same time I'm really happy. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you in my next one. Bye bye!